Dr. Prasad Rav is a multifaceted personality. Though he worked all his life in public sector, but basically he is a scientist. He is a artist in the science. And I came in contact in around 97-98 when I was chairman of GAIL, chairman managing director. We were at that time setting up a huge petrochemical plant in UP, a place called Pata. And we were also expanding LPG plants from 2 to 7 at that time. And we increased to 2 million tons. And Dr. Prasad Rao took interest. He came and met me. I can do some research projects at Wagodia and Gujarat in LPG plant and petrochemicals. That is how our association started. And uh, we have got one energy think tank we have set up. My colleague Dr. Pathan is here, Dr. Jori Lal. Uh, they're all, he is from ONGC. Dr. Pathan is uh, chairman of IOC. And this energy think tank, we recently also we met. Dr. Balyan is here. Yeah. And uh, so in the energy think tank, he used to take a very good interest and come with uh, certain topics. And he's one person he will not keep quiet until he makes his point and appreciate his points and then discuss on that. Very recently, by a coincidence, one day I got a message from here, uh, from Dr. Prasad Rao at that time. His granddaughter Ananya, uh, in South India it is called Arangetram program, the first dance program, Arangetram, in a big hall, Ravindra Bharati in Hyderabad, and he organized for his granddaughter Ananya. And uh, he insisted on the phone, Prasad Garu, you come and bless my granddaughter, she is giving program. I went there and I was sitting with uh, Dr. Prasadara for two hours in that Arangetram program. And uh, it was an excellent program by the girl. Uh, and uh, I was thinking whether she, she has not come here, but she is busy, I think, for some tests and all that. So Ananya gave a good program, that's how, uh, and that time I met Uday also. So I would like to introduce Uday, you know already, Sujata is here, wife, and uh, any other family members? So I know them, and for the information of all of you, Uday, in Houston, he has got his own setup, he is doing a good and uh, excellent uh, material by Gmail and all that, which we can read and get in touch with him. So friends, uh, so Dr. Prasadra was also a member of ETT, and we are also an INAE colleague fellows. I'm a fellow of INAE, and Dr. Prasadra also is a fellow. In INAE also, we used to meet now and then. So this is my contact with him, but uh, he has got a lot of affection for the, our oil and gas companies and all the seniors and all everybody working. He has a lot of affection for particularly IOC, BPC, HPC, ONGC, Gale. He will keep on talking about always. So I would like to convey his multifaceted uh, personality, how he was in touch with us. If I'm not mistaken, would I? He expired on 83, 83 years. That's what that day he was telling me. So I would like to read a few important uh, information about his life. Dr. Prasadra has made pioneering contributions to chemical engineering by developing and commercializing over 10 petroleum refining and petrochemical processes and conducting important research in catalysis. These processes ended adequate supply of petrochemicals and transportation fuels through the growth of India's petroleum 
refining and petrochemical industries. In spite of an entirely industrial R&D career, Dr. Prasad Rao made numerous important scientific contributions to catalysis by supported metals, mixed metal oxides and geolites. The impressive scientific output includes over 100 papers, 50 patents, 3 books, 300 presentations, 250 invited scientists, seminars, sorry, 250 invited seminars and 10 PhD students. It's a wonderful contribution for any scientist. 10 PhD students, he made them PhD holders. Dr. Prasad Rao has enriched the discipline and practice of engineering globally through concerted production and execution of technology transfer between India and US. And he used to bring those people to India and introduce to other colleagues also here, uh, US companies. These include commercializing several US technologies in India from companies such as UOP, some of our colleagues, you all know UOP, GTC, Technology, and BP. Dr. Prasad Rao has also worked hard to transfer Indian technologies globally. For example, Dr. Prasad Rao successfully licensed several Indian aromatics technologies to US companies. Recently, he founded a unique startup company in India where over 100 scientists search, mine, and analyze patents for more than 35 US and European R&D organizations, including Fortune 500 companies. Dr. Prasadara is particularly admired for his inspirational leadership of R&D institutions. As director of the Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dr. Prasad Rao ended long-standing labor union problems. I also worked in ONGC. I lived there about 10 years in ONGC. This institute used to have labor problems. After Prasad Rao came as head of that, he has resolved those problems amicably with the labor unions. Motivated staff to achieve scientific excellence, increased revenues by 95 times, and established partnerships with companies such as ExxonMobil, EOP, BP, and ABB. Dr. Prasad Rao has been recognized with fellowship of Indian National Academy of Engineering, Indian Academy of Sciences, and Indian Institute of Chemical Engineering and the FIKI, Kamala Kumari, Chemtech, Basin, and AN Saxena Awards. These are all individual awards. Kamala Kumari, that is FIKI, Chemtech, Basin, and AN Saxena Awards. In 2014, the Prime Minister of India awarded Dr. Prasad Rao with the Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the science, engineering, and technology of oil and gas and energy in India. In 2020, Dr. Prasad Rao was honored with the Lifetime Contribution Award from the Indian National Academy of Engineering, a rare honor for a chemist to win from the country of the premier engineering fellowships. I thought there are some of our colleagues are here. I could see uh, some many seniors and others also. You can see such a personality. But we all know life and death, they are not in the individual hands. But until his last days, he has been working. I want to convey that. And until and we, when I met him in that uh, dance program on 31st March in Hyderabad, he was talking about other things even in between. This is all I want to convey to our colleagues who have come here. 
and uh, we pray god to give peace of to his soul and take care of him and we hindus we believe that the atma doesn't die only body dies atma goes to the paramatma and we always believe there is a pitru devata the seniors who expire they are all having their own group they are called pitru devata so with that belief i think he is going to be his atma is going to be active there also with parmat thank you very much